there we go. Right, good evening. Uh, my name's Adam Chilton, Mental Health Warrior. And tonight, um, I've got Bradley Littlewood. He is um, an aspiring motivational speaker influencer who also volunteers for a multi award winning charity called Mentor. Um, his interesting facts are he's only 19. Uh, I think he's one of the youngest. No, you're actually the second youngest person I've actually brought on. Um, All right. Yeah, he started doing this eight months ago and he's amassed 120 plus likes and followers on his Facebook page, which is Bradley Littlewood Talks. He's also had struggles as well. Welcome. Thank you for having me. This, uh, it's really good to be here. Anytime, anytime. Now, obviously, I'm going to start with um, you. Like, who is Bradley Littlewood? Uh, well, I actually get that question a lot, and I don't really have a definitive answer because I've, I've, uh, like I said, I've only been doing this eight months, so I'm still on the journey myself to process what the end goal is. I have the vision, but I don't really have where I'm going to stop. So right now, just what I am is just someone that's trying to help out in a way, trying to show people that no matter what age you are or where you come from, how you act, or just who you are in general, there's always hope. And mental health plays into that very well. And that's what I like to target. I like to get at the people that don't necessarily think that they've got any hope because of their mental health. And I, I just want to show them that, that actually there is. I, I struggle myself and I put some videos out where I show my struggle. And I also put more videos out where I'm giving advice and I'm helping out. And that really is so far what Bradley Whistlewood is. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I was going to change it to, um, which obviously an Australian asked me this question. It actually took me two hours to actually answer it properly. And I'm actually going to ask you, and I don't think, I think you've probably been asked for it before, is what does mental health mean to you? Mental, that is a very good question. Mental health, what it means to me is having peace because you can always see you've got mental health problems because of your physicality or because your social lifestyle. You know, there's always problems that can deter into your mental health and make it worsen. Whereas to have peace in your mental health, which means you've got full prosperity of having a good physicality, social circle, mentality, you know, it's about peace, really, about letting go of the, the ego that everyone so yeah. clings on to as such. Uh, that's personally what I think it means, like, in my opinion. Yeah, because um, I actually came up with the answer two hours later and um, straight away I just said mental health is our mindset that controls the way we think, mm. act and behave. Yeah, and that, is a, that is a very good way of seeing it. It is, isn't it? And obviously, um, yeah, like, well, because it all does affect the mind uh, from positive or negative like I'm always saying, mental health, it can either be your best friend or it can be your worst enemy. I've seen both sides, uh, and uh, probably you have as well. But um, is that What coping strategies did you come up with to actually um, be, become who you are today? Because I know we've got uh, a lot of different ones. Yeah. Uh, the thing I mainly did was walk like i'm i'm doing it to even to this day actually like i used to just go on a playstation all, all the time and just play video games and just try and get excitement out of that but it never worked for me because i just kept repeating the same things over and over again because i just i just had the same games that i just kept doing so i decided why don't i try and get my brain into a more active state and just walk so I do three walks every day, which uh, equates to about five mile per walk. Obviously, yeah. people won't jump into that like that far straight away. 
And what I do is I do my first walk earphones in, just listening to music, trying to just get a feel for the course that I'm doing. Then the second time I take it a bit slower and I, I, uh, I activate my brain more and just I observe what's happening around me. And, I, and it actually shows to me more that I'm not just me, if that makes sense. I'm, mm. I'm everything around me as well. Everything I, everything I do influences everything else. If I didn't go on that walk that day, I wouldn't have bumped into someone and said hello and boosted their, 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 their day up themselves. If I didn't go on a walk, I didn't see that deer that I saw. You know, there's, there's always things that you're observing. You can influence and change. And that's really what got me coping. Not, not to give myself an ego boost, but to actually bring me back down to earth and say, actually, there's more to life than just me. If I'm being yeah. miserable all day, I can't, I can't see it more. Whereas if I obtain a more positive thinking towards things i can i can see that actually wow there is a lot more going on than just me yeah i totally agree because what i've started doing uh for my coping strategy is um i have a cuppa and then right after that i have to go for a cold shower because that apparently mm. really does help and then after that i meditate Meditate for. I've heard about meditating. Yeah, I've been told meditating is really good, especially with a cold shower, because apparently it like shocks your body or something. So yeah. it, like it makes you more like active thinking and like that. So I think that's actually a really good uh, coping technique. Personally, it is. Yes, it is, and um, it's it's one thing after another, uh, but. This also leads on to men talk. Um, like, what got you involved with that? Uh, well, the people that ran men talk, uh, or still do, uh, the first, the person that runs it mainly now is called Jason Cotton. He, uh, him and his uh, friend Fraser, uh, they started it because they thought enough's enough, and let's let's do something about it. And then, so I heard about it. And I was going through a difficult time myself and I just thought enough's enough, like they said. And I'm just, I'm just going to message them. I'm like, hello, I'm Brad. Uh, I was 18 at the time. I was like, I'm 18. I've got this, this, this and problem. And they just went, not a problem. Just come straight down, talk to us. And what, what they, all they do is they just uh, sit you down and you just talk for two hours. Like it's not, it not just me, but there was other men around and, so everyone was like getting out the problems and it, it helped relate a lot. So it weren't just me going on about my story, whereas someone uh, next to me could go about his story. And you see, actually, there's sort of resemblance. So I was kind of getting advice what about what he was saying and he was getting advice about what I was saying. And then I just said, do you know what? That helped me so much. I, I want this. I knew I was always going to be good at speaking and, and uh, getting my voice out, but I didn't realize it was going to be with mental health. But then when I went to mental health, I was like, do you know what? This is it. And then uh, I messaged Jason personally. And I was like, look, I want to get involved. You know, here's what I can do. And he just, and he just joined me in straight away. Uh, it is a multi-award winning uh, mental health charity, but I haven't won any of those awards. It's just purely Jay and Fraser, the two uh, co-founders of mental health themselves. That yeah. won all the others. So all credit is due to them two lads starting it, and all credit is due to them two for starting my career as well. Fantastic. Obviously, I'm gonna have a look at that, even though I'm I'm obviously qualified and stuff. But and I'm starting this, and what I'm doing, this is like a business for me. I want to turn this into a business. Mm. And um, yeah, I will actually get in touch with mentor myself, and that's what I'll do. Uh, or if you can do put me in the right direction, I'll yeah. Uh, we have a uh, Facebook page, and I think we've only just started uh, an Instagram page. The Facebook page has reached about four thousand followers on it. Wow. Uh, wow. But we also have a chat room as well where. Uh, because of COVID, for example, where we haven't been able to go and meet in like yeah. huddles, we just we've just been on the chat room. It's also where I share most of my motivational videos to help people. Uh, so, if anyone that is listening to this wants to get in contact, it is just purely on Facebook at the minute. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, obviously, my, my YouTube channel, which this video will be published on that, it's on public anyway. And um, if you can send me uh, the link to Men Talk Facebook group uh, on LinkedIn, I will I'll pin that up in the in the channel as well. Uh, that's what I'll do. Amazing, thank you. Anytime, anytime. Uh, but yeah, let's just leave on to um, what's next for you. Like, where do you, because I know you're only 19, and where do you see yourself, like, becoming in the mental health industry? Well, uh, that is actually a very good question. Well, as, as, we all know, <laughs> as we all know, it takes 10 years to perfect a craft, and I'm only starting my first year. So I have high hopes that even though I'm as... Uh, mediocre as I am now I've got a long way to go evidently I've got nine years but I think I've still got a lot more improvements than the next person so it's driving me to push harder and harder to know that if I want to make a change it's just about the patience and commitment no matter what I do or what anyone else does it is about patience and commitment to that subject whatever you want to do so the next thing for me really is uh just spread the kindness because like you said you know you're you're wanting to make this a business so am i but the business isn't my primary objective i'm not bothered about the money i'm bothered about the happiness that i can bring to people because oh, kindness yeah, I'm, will same. Win. I'm same yeah yeah yeah, it, yeah uh, fair enough i'll be i'll be getting paid out of all this but i'm more focused on like money that uh, that can come at any time but my main priority yeah. is turning people's lives around yeah, exactly, because uh, the, the statistic for suicides is 75% of it are male. So that's what I've primarily targeted. But I'm trying to go into a general base as well of, you know, everyone can listen to me, which they can. Uh, so I think the next thing for me really is I am aiming really high uh, and I'm trying to make just everyone smile, really. I can't please everyone, I'm aware. But I know I don't want to please everyone. I just want to please those in need of the smile I, I totally agree with you and yes it's been an absolute privilege having you on because it is still um, i always say my videos i don't care if a ten thousand a hundred or even just one person is watching if i can help that one person that makes my day it's a all the difference yeah all the difference because that one person will then spread our video on to others and that's how we continue to go. Yeah, it, it is all about time and patience. And I've never had patience in my life, but now I do. <laughs> so it's just all about time. And yeah, but well, it's been privileged to having you on. And um, yeah, I look forward to bringing you on again. Thank you. I'd love to come back on again. Anytime, anytime. And on that note, I will stop the recording.